Topic Podcast. Who are you? Tanya. Who am I? Kim. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome, guys, um, to another session of Off Topic. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. And our engineer got his own mic, so he might, you know, know sub. Because like that. <laughs> that's your husband. What's up, what's up? Oh, look, look, look. Yeah, He's already starting. Already. Yeah, no, I don't like it. Um, oh, wow. So, mm-hmm. you just got back. I did. From traveling. Yeah. Your new job. I do. I do. do. Like I do like it. So, I can talk a little bit more about it. No names. No names. But I am a director of training and development, so I'm feeling, like, important. I ain't going to lie. I feel important. I feel like I'm... You know, you're important in the eyes of Jesus. I am, right? Always. But I do feel like I got, I got weight. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you ever been at a job and you're like, mm, I just got a job, yeah. But then when you get that certain title, mm. you know, you like, I'm a director? Like, and then you're in the leadership meetings. It's a different type of feeling, like... Your, you know, your opinion so matters. Make me pull the D on you. <laughs> you like, oh, I got that card right there, bro. I got show, like, uh, shows. no, because she doesn't want you to focus on the she camera. It's yeah, fine. He, yeah. It's okay. So yeah, so I am a training and development. So I, that you know what? Cool though. I do like it. That, like that's right up your alley. Absolutely, I that's love so training cool. people. I, I do. I love you like training people. What to do? I don't know. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that me? <laughs> I'm living through you? Okay. That's fine. No, no, no. That's fine. I am. I do. And not that I like telling people what to do. I like seeing that I can bring that light, that like flicker in their life, like to do so the you, best job that so they can like do. spark it up. I do. Spark I'm a spark it. Up. Spark it up. Hey. Spark hey. It up. Spark it. Spark hey. it. Hey. 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 Shake it up. Shake no, it up. Shake no, it up. I can see you doing that. Yeah. I totally can. I, I am I love it and I love like putting like procedures into place and I like structure in the work environment. You like structure. I might not I don't wait, do wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Business. <laughs> Did you think you like structure? I like structure in the work environment. Okay. Does that make sense? Like I like structure that you know, this is what you're supposed to do for your job, A through Z, so you can get yeah. the job done. Obviously, I'm opposite. So I don't care really about structure work. Really? And at home, I need structure. I want everything to be in its place and things to go, okay, we have to go to dinner or the keys need to be in this place. But with yeah. work, it's like... <sighs> we'll just manage. We'll, we'll just we'll do... We'll manage. We'll manage. You see the spaghetti so sticks? Many people. Mm. And then, you know, sometimes they break up with their boyfriends or they bring that personal crap or, over. or their or their pet has died or, you know, whatever it is. So you have to become a therapist. So I develop and train coaches like for real estate. I'm so curious on how that looks. <laughs> I just want to be flying the wall. Like, so, you know, they've been doing it before me. It. It hasn't been structured. Mm. So I'm about to shake some feathers, you know. And some people think that, you know, since I'm all, like, happy-go-lucky, you know, that I don't have that little, uh, you know what I mean? But when it comes to my job, shoot. Shoot. I was going to say PG. <laughs> I keep it PG. Don't worry about me. Um, I, I'm, I, I can, I like structure. And if you listen, you can jump on my train. There's another train coming, but just not There's where I lot. work. There's a lot. It's, it is, in the, and I feel you 100%. So the other day I had a meeting with a certain group in my department. And I had to, I had bullet points. This is what we're doing. Like, you know, mm-hmm. da, da. Mm-hmm. but I'm all about creative control. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm, how do you feel about that? In my mind, I already know how we feel. <laughs> yeah, like, but you tell me. Mm-hmm. Sitting mm-hmm. there talking, da, da. and then I go. But then, if that was the case, then why right. did this happen? This happened. Mm-hmm. Stunned. They were like, "Yeah, I'm all about accountability." It's because of my personality, and I'm very nurturing, and like I got you and really? encouraging. You, you, the, the lies, your face is like, <laughs> you, you, 
my face. You, first of all, you're very intimidating. You think so? Yes, I told you that in the car. So we're going to start bringing a camera in the How car. I intimidate me. Like my face, though. Your face says my another face, thing. Just ask questions without words. <laughs> it's like you be blinking. I'm like, oh, no, my that's blinking not it. is SOS. Yeah. I'm SOSing you. Yeah, if SOSing. I SOS you is different. Okay. But gotcha. I don't think I'm intimidating. I feel my kids will differ. But I do then feel. Then I'm part of the kids because I even. I'm like, uh, oh, no. You did tell me something earlier. You didn't give me eye contact. I <laughs> said, you good? Why are you not? I didn't know what you were going to say. <laughs> That's how I feel. Because you're like my big sister. So it's like, you know, if you guys, anybody has like a big sister or a bi- an older sibling that they're very close to, mm. and you want to tell them, you want to like spill your beans, and then you're like, I don't know. I'm not going to look at you. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, but I'm not going to look at you. So That's does how not it looking was. make you feel safer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You don't feel the judgment. You know I'm going to catch you later, though. <laughs> you're going to be like, wow, you're, you said that? You're looking at me now. <sighs> For me, it's like, I said it, so you can't say I didn't say it, right? But I don't have to get the judgment right then and there. You can sl- you you end up changing your judgment le- less. What? You do. You do. You might not even notice. Tell me that's that. what you tell do. Me, tell me what that means. You change your judgment. You change your approach to talk to me. So I'm not changing my judgment. No. I'm changing how I tell you I'm judging you. Correct. And as of today, we've learned. Which is not bad. Well, I'm sorry. Let me retract that statement. Okay. As a Christian, Mm -hmm. I should be judging you. Mm. But I feel like I should have my own opinions. So let's say people are not Christians. Mm Mm-hmm. They're allowed to feel the way they feel Mm -hmm. and have their judgment. Yeah. But I think the minute you say, I am Christian, any opinion in how you feel, how you sit with your spirit is like, oh, you're judging. Bruh, if I wasn't Christian, I'd probably still feel the same way. (laughs) And it's like, (laughs) but people just use that as a crutch, I think. And then like anyone that's anti-Christian or anti-faith. Right. We'll use that as a crutch. <laughs> I'm God. not, I no, you're not doing that. <laughs> but the thing just last the, night with sister, you had the whole sister. Here's my thing is that you are my big sister, right? Uh-huh. So, big because I'm older. You're right. Because you're older than me. But, you know, because the, the love and the respect that I have for you. It's the same thing with my brother, Tim. Like, I, I don't tell Tim everything. Tim needs to live here. He is going to live. live in this area. <laughs> Him and O will be best friends. Yes, absolutely. I love it. I love absolutely. It. Yeah. They're like very techie. Yes. I call them Jimmy Neutron. Mm-hmm. You know, if I you've never it. seen Jimmy Neutron, go, you know, YouTube it you know, and stuff like that. It's about on life. It's fine. Yeah. They like the like gadgets and stuff like that. But like, I don't want to share everything at that moment. I have to give it to you guys gradually. Right. Because I'm like the rebel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Of your lives, both of you. <laughs> you are. I am the rebel, and I do things a little different, right? You are. And my timing is different. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Let's talk about my timing. What about so, my timing? So, like, at church today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. We talked about mm-hmm. correction, mm-hmm. rebuke, chopping your throat. And I, it doesn't leave a mark. You looked at me sideways. Like, I know. You chop me all the time, huh? I do. With uh, my three kids. And encouragement. Yeah. I agree with that. So, do you feel <laughs> that the reason why it's about timing mm-hmm. is because you don't want us to correct or rebuke you? You only want the encouragement part. No. No. Lies. Lies. <laughs> She's lying. She only I'm wants to try. She wants, hey, girl. Hey, girl. Do you, She girl. don't want the, but why are you doing it? That's, okay, but it's fine. Girl. I'm okay with that. You know what okay. it is? Okay. When I tell you, Tim, even my sister-in-law, Mari, like, when I tell you guys things, I know, I'm I'm ready. When I tell you, it's you because I'm ready. <laughs> you said, when I tell you, Riley. That was the mean one. That was passionate today. Read, read the, the book. book. <laughs> just do what I say. That just was you. Follow. Yeah. You just did for, that. Me. <laughs> you just did that. for me, I'm like, guys, 
if I've come to you, it's because I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for the correction. I'm ready for the rebuke. And then I'm ready for the, you I could do better. Because you already turned up. So you already <laughs> did your thing. You're like, I did my thing. Okay, you can rebuke me now if you want. But I already did what I needed to do. <laughs> no, no, no. I think it's more like I'm ready for your corrections. Like, help me be better. That's oh, what I'm okay, looking at. So, <laughs> are you ready for the correction? Yeah. And the after of the you throat? did what you did, because you were like, man, I should not have done what I did. Somebody needs to correct me. I need help. Jesus, Jesus, since you're not here right now. I, I got Tim, my sister, body. <laughs> I, I got them. I got oh. all of them. And, and your husband, too, sometimes. Y'all well, four? He not. Oh, <laughs> doesn't see. No. But I'll he gives like, me the look. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't like want to tell you anything. you right now. <laughs> I don't want to. You notice? Know I don't even look over there. <laughs> like, I'm looking. I'm like, mm, I'm watching. Mm, listen. You four are like my pillars. You're my pillars. You're yeah, pillars. yeah. You yeah, guys hold sure. my fund my foundation strong, right? And I'm just trying to live better, mm-hmm. and I'm trying right? to. We should, all, we should all. And we all should, right? I think we're all learning from our mistakes in our past, and we're just trying to live a better life, right? And if you're, you know, living in, you know, a more Christian like, um, life, mm-hmm. right? You know, you just try to change things, and you're trying to look at what you did before and what you're doing now and everything like that. So yeah, it's, sure. it's a battle that you're constantly going through. Every day. So I'm happy that I have you guys yeah. as my four, right? Sometimes yeah. I feel like it's 43, but I feel like sometimes I'm like 10. Like, No, I, I feel like you're 10. 16. No, no. I want to be legal, so 15, 21. 15. I want to be 21 no. before I had kids. Oh, that's <laughs> a topic. Okay. What would be our topic? I look at your phone. Remember, we talked about this oh, yeah, today. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the topic Girl. today? Today's topic. Okay, so besides that, I'm just trying to live better, guys. All right. And today's Yar. topic. One of the questions I had was. Um. Oh. Okay. Ready? Sure. I want to hear what you have to say about this. I feel set up. <laughs> if you guys all know that I already do all the questions before we come on, on you know, on our, our full cast or whatever. Mm-hmm. So anyway, um, if you stop talking to someone like a friend or a boyfriend or something, and you know, they were close to your family and everything like that, should they still have access to your family mm-hmm. or your close people in your circle? No, I agree. Okay, what's you, the next question? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's telling me I'm not talking to him. Oh, so oh, lean so in. lean with it, lean with it, rock with it. Wait, lean so with talk it, here and go. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay, so meaning, I've had close friends. No, no is no. What's the next question? No, I'm going to talk about it because well, I we say both it. said no, so there's no argument. No. It's not an argument, but I want to explain. Because some people got to understand why the no is put into place. Okay? And I know why you're looking at your fingers. Because I had some people that I no longer talk to. I'm going to look at the camera. Say that just in case they want to be no. You hold on, though, no, to too much. What? Yes, you do. I hold on. Yeah. I don't hold on. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You do. T- you just... Ah, really? Yeah, you do. I just feel like they shouldn't talk to you. Oh, you mean, oh, for me. Oh, wait, hold on. Now we're talking different. <laughs> like, if my so ex you're friends, not talking to them. I'm not talking to them. I don't, so I don't talk to your exes, friends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. But that's your fault. <laughs> wow, that's so, my fault? So, let me explain. Okay, go ahead. So, you see why I like to talk oh about it? Oh, my God. They love you and blah blah blah. I'm like, okay, I'll friend them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then all of a sudden you're like, I'm not talking to them anymore. I'm like, I'm, wait, what? <laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> you gotta, you know, I I think that was my fault because I friended them. You don't have to friend them because they're your friends. Mm-hmm. They're they're your friends. I feel like I should be able to go. Well, let me. 
they have to earn their friendship. The way over. They have to earn that. And right. just because they're your friends doesn't mean I should friend them. Right, because I think we all, everybody has like little circles of friends. Do I have any friends that you talk to that I don't talk to anymore? No, because I deleted them. Lies. I don't have any of those people. <laughs> no, you did. Ooh. We don't talk about names. No, but give me a situation. <laughs> Somebody was about to get beat up. I don't talk to them. I don't talk to that couple. The beat up? The beat up. Oh, I don't talk to that couple. They almost beat them up? <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's laughing. So I don't talk to them. I don't got them on my on my Instagram. I have or my Facebook. I have her on my Instagram. That's what I'm because saying. It's like not her phone. No. That no. her husband no. is whack. No. I feel like, listen, if I don't talk to you, there should be no reason why we are associated. None. So I disagree with that because wow. let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. You know what I'm saying? Can okay, I explain? Can I explain? Go ahead, Jesus. I, like. I didn't say my loyalty my lied Jesus with like. them. Wait, I want to punch you in the face. <laughs> what did Pastor say? In the neck. Cup closer. Uh, Tapping your throat. It was, it was, it was, um, I don't, I don't think I have to be friends with that person, okay. but I also feel like maybe I could feed them somehow and help them and guide them or they can me. Like it, <laughs> your face is telling me no. <laughs> no, no, I don't talk to them. You don't talk to them. If I don't mess with them and they invite you to a party, you don't go straight up. That's different. I wouldn't go without you. But I may not unfriend them on social media. Why? Because I they may need to be fed somehow, some way. No, they can be fed by somebody else that's feeding the needy. Mm, selfish. You're being selfish. No, I feel like this. So Your mind, <laughs> no one can talk to you. <laughs> it's called selfish. Yeah. Yes, I am selfish. When, when, first of all, you're my family. You're yeah. not just like my yeah. random, like, sure. I can come here. At you know what I mean? Time. Like, yeah. right, but I wouldn't. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I can come here. As long as I, I could be. Yes, could. I can go to my, you know, nephew's house, my niece's house, whatever. You know what I mean? Like. If I'm not talking to those people or I'm associating my life with them, they should mind their damn business. But you're, I think you're comparing. So although we may be friends on social media, that doesn't mean they could show up to my house. But the thing time. is that we live in a society. No, no. Yes, no. we do. They Listen. can't, they can't show up to the house. And they can, not, they better not know your address. That's they the They can't show is. up to <laughs> Nana's house, Jazzy's house. They can't do any of those. Don't things. even say happy birthday. How about that? That's what I feel. No. Well, somebody, you're in line. We have to pray. <laughs> pray for you me. You can't say happy birthday? What wishes do I need from y'all? Tell me. What if you guys just had a falling out? Mm-hmm. And it was just something between just you two. Uh huh. Bye. What's that have to do with me? You're mine. You can't. <laughs> You're my family. You're mine. You're territorial. Yes. I'm territorial with my husband. No, what? touch it. Touch it. No, touch it. Touch it. <laughs> with my husband, <laughs> but not friends. Really? Yeah. If you want to be. Okay. Okay, so we're do not naming you. names. Do you? <laughs> we're not I've naming had names. That. I just really? had it recently. Really? Somebody came back to me. I'm like, oh, no, you want to come back to me? Nah. But, yeah. And then you invite them to a party and I'm there, I'm giving side eye. Straight up. And if you know me, you know my side eye is strong. I got a strong side eye. <laughs> Oh, see, you're looking shy. At yeah, like you I'm feel uncomfortable to... around me. That's how I feel. Like you're gonna be uncomfortable. I'm territorial around me. with like my kids and my husband. I've never been that territorial with friends because let me explain to you. Sure. When you were going through your thing, mm -hmm. we lived in the same building. And if I was super territorial, you side eyed. I was looking at the screen. I'm... You were side eyed. Don't even. If I don't was even super play. territorial, <laughs> I wouldn't talk to you anymore. Right? So you may, for me, oh, okay. if I could be so honest. So if you stop talking to me. No, right? if I could be honest, in those moments, I felt right. like you made your decision. <gasps> wow. I did. I did. But I learned I from that. You, that. Gave me you gave me my time to 
Yeah. You realized that I was going through a phase, right? Right? But if I was thinking the way you were thinking. <laughs> I just feel like y'all already went through y'all phase. Y'all know where y'all at now. Like, mm. I don't want you reaching out to me. No. No. Like, you know, mm. okay, I'll give you an example. Because, mm. you know, I'm very honest about okay. things, right? I'm very, very honest. And then you're going to go back and give me another topic. Cause I am. I am. Oh, but this is really topic. good because people are out there that have stopped being friends with certain people, right? Mm-hmm. So I I tell my mom, I stopped talking to these people, I, right? Mm-hmm. My mom was like, oh, my God, but why? And I give them my reason. Does mom watch your show? I, yeah, my mom watched my show. I don't care. Okay. I'm, I'm speaking the truth. I'm speaking my truth, okay. right? This is mm-hmm. this is my platform. This is my truth. That, that pissed me off. I'm not even going to say that annoyed me. That pissed me off because I feel like, why, first of all, why are you reaching out to my mom? Or why are you even commenting? If my mom comments, ignore. Hmm. How about that? Like, you don't have to say anything. You could just, you don't have to be like, I don't talk to your daughter. Da, da, da. Like, just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it, be frozen. Be frozen. Okay? And then slowly, you don't even have to see my anything my mom posts or whatever, whatever. Like, unfollow her or mute her, whatever the heck you do. You know what I mean? And I'm going to tell my mom to do the same thing. But my mom did not. My mom was like, I, that's so stupid. I love her. I love her. And I'm like, I don't talk to her. Oh, Um, yeah, because it's a twitch. It's a twitch. It's a a heavy subject. Here's the thing, though. So that's why I feel like don't be friends with people in my family, in my, in my close circle, I don't feel like you need to be conversating. Like, don't invite my family to a party. That's my family. We don't talk. What, what you want my family for? So there are boundaries. I feel like there's boundaries when you stop talking to somebody. Hmm. That was heavy breathing. You don't feel like there's boundaries when you stop talking to somebody? Right. But I think, though, if we go to the root cause, mm. why are you friends with these people to begin with? I mean, you don't really know what's going to end up happening. Lies. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know what they're going to be no, toxic but to like, you in the there end. Are, so I feel like there are exceptions to the rule, mm-hmm. but I feel like, and I was talking to my sisterhood group yesterday. Oh, okay. There yes. are I wasn't there. Thanks rules. Mm-hmm. Do better. I was working. Shh. Traveling. There are, there are, I feel like we know when we bring in certain people into our life, Mm -hmm. we know, we know if they're toxic, we know if they're bonchinchosas, uh, AKA gossipers. We know if they're just indifferent, we know if they're just not stable and we do it anyway Hmm. and we shouldn't. I think sometimes we think that they're not going to be like that with us. But you have that on purpose. I, I have. I won't and say that so I do that I feel now. like if you had the gift of discernment. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if you like legit listen to the gift of discernment, mm-hmm. which is identifying who, what, where, when, and how. Oh, you just learned that, didn't you? No. Oh, my bad. Try- I did try you. I, my I open my Bible every day. Okay. Oh, and I, I know. I'm trying minutes. to work on it. I even know how to minutes. spell it. I don't know. <laughs> 15 uh, minutes of Jesus. No, then you no. Them back. I, I feel like if you had that gift of discernment, yeah. you wouldn't have half of the people in your life that you do now. I, listen, my circle's small. Now is what I'm trying to tell you. But back then, you didn't I have the gift of discernment. You were like, oh my God, I love you. I love you. I, love you. I did. Because I, I felt like that was my Jesus. And everybody lived in my house. That was no, Jesus. That's life. not having discernment. <laughs> it it was my Jesus-like behavior no, Jesus, of loving no. I mean, of everyone. He's saying Judas, <laughs> even though he knew Judas was going to have him killed, we're not doing that. You're I right. feel like, but but again, you're right. There are times we don't know. Right. Sometimes it's that snake. Right. We just the devil's in disguise when he comes and knocking. Right. right. And we don't know. But for the most part. Mm-hmm. We have to like take a step back and sit and go. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. 
Like, what's your intention? And now one I'm of my sisters that. called me out yesterday and said, we know that you're not comfortable with being, with being vulnerable. And I said, you're absolutely right. But I'm, I'm open and willing to be vulnerable. You're a lie. I am open. I got to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you got like three bars, like jail bars. <laughs> Vulnerability. Yeah. But I was open though. I was in that moment. No, no, no. You're you open to it, be like yes. No, no, it no, was no. like uh, if <laughs> I give you something, you try to cut me with it. I'm gonna cut you harder. We're not doing that. Like it's, it was different. It was different. But they knew that. That was your Malcolm X. It was. It was Malcolm yeah. X. Malcolm ish, X. ish. Ish. Right. Yeah. Uh, it was tough. It was tough for me. So I it was great to be in a room full of all my sisters to go. But that's okay, or that's not okay. You know. People were calling me out on stuff. And I think you could be called out. Good place. I think I think you could be called out. And I think that certain people can call you out and you still be respectful and you could be like I could receive it. You could receive it. You don't change it though. You don't think so? Are you telling me I'm not receiving it? Take a sip. <laughs> wow, that was a that was a tea sip. <laughs> that was a um, sip. Here's my thing. I know that you have the issues of vulnerability and I've been your friend for a really long time. Mm -hmm. Um, So I don't know when you'll be ready for that. Mm. And that's just my honest thing. Like, yeah, I just feel like "Mm, you're not ready for that. You, I think with the right person. And like I said, I've been your friend for a long time. I think you've shown me some type of vulnerability and and I think because of that, I'm also reserved because I don't want to, like, spill everything on you, right? Yeah. Because yeah. you are, and I think we both are, mm-hmm. where we... For other people. Yeah, for other people that we gravitate that energy. Mm-hmm. So I think it just makes you unique, right? And... Um, I don't like that. You don't like that word? Mm-hmm. I like you. I like unique. I had a friend named yeah. Unique. Is she Morena? Was she? I'm just asking. No, she was. <laughs> In my mind, there's no white girl named Unique. <laughs> I'm just saying. That that could be unacceptable. There right. could be one person in this entire <laughs> world that's <laughs> white and unique. In my mind, right. she Unique sat to... next to Mercedes in class. You know what I mean? Like it's you just know what? Different. I'm not going to even lie, and I'm not joking, even oh. though I'm going to laugh about it lies, right now. Lies, lies, But Unique used to sit right next to Mercedes. I swear to God. And you know what school I'm going to talk about, PS191 and the projects. It was no. <laughs> I'm not, but getting back to vulnerability. Um, I think that I have the ability to be vulnerable. You have the ability. If I feel, <laughs> but no, but if I feel like you're being legit, mm-hmm. if I, in my gut, like that toma, that toma. If it's um, if you're legit trying to really help me as a person mm-hmm. and love me, mm-hmm. love my core, love my family, love everything about me, I'm open to it. But if you're, you're not open to it, but you don't, you're like, but that's oh, because great. I have. I'm happy really, you're there. But it's because the conversations that I've had haven't really opened me to that. Mm. You gotta, you gotta prove me wrong. So yeah. if I have a certain conspiracy, and in my mind I have a certain belief. And I go, this is what it is. You got to come at me with facts and come at me with certain things for me to go, oh, hmm. okay, I can see it differently. Last week we did. Last week when we were doing our edits, you came, we did have you a vulnerability. Yeah. What and part? I was like, you can't feel that way when you've never been that person. What part was that reminding me? So we were talking about the gays and, you know, my cousin had, had mentioned to me that he's never gotten a hard on. Remember? We talked about Oh, but I apologize for that. No, you did. I said, oh, wow. No, that is but true. But in I the didn't conversation. Even think about that. Yeah. But in the conversation, it was more like you can't feel for someone who when you've never been in that situation, right? So I think it's more for you, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's for you. It's like, yeah, you need to be proven. Or you're, you could be wrong. And then I think that's when you're like, hmm. Your guard comes down just a little bit, mm. or you have to prove yourself. Yeah, yeah, and, and you stand by prove yourself to me. 
Yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna sway how I feel. Yeah. Just because you tell me to. Correct. And as much as I love my family, my mother, if she goes, you need to feel this way. Yeah, like I'm a drink. I need more than that, right? I just need more than that. But for me. You need to be more than just because you're my mom or just because you're my husband or my my best friend. I need more than that. Yeah, you need more content. Yeah, I'm open to it. I'm not closed off from it. But I for sure need more than that. I agree. I agree. I just and on this podcast, I know I, we're I gonna do break her. Uh, we're gonna break her one day. Mm, you know, I, I do a lot. You do. I you do. do. But I think you are. I think on this platform that we have, which is this podcast, off topic. Mm-hmm. I think that little by little, we're starting to see you open up a little bit, just a little bit. You're mm-hmm. very like crack open, like you know, like the pistachio crack, like, <clears throat> and then you gotta get the seeds. <laughs> It smells good. It smells good. <laughs> you don't want to get the pistachios that the seed is already but you out. Know what's so funny. I, ah, I, I don't know why I'm that way. I think it's just. I think it's because you had to be that way for a long time. Something in my life has had to have happened for me to be that way. But we have to figure it out. We're gonna be hood therapists for our. our I'm good. <laughs> I'm good with other people, <laughs> bro. <Bruh. laughs> <laughs> Why'd you do that? But with me, I'm like, just don't, let me let me let them. me don't just show them. Don't show them. Right, right. That's let me sure. sh- let me let me not yeah, show my cards. For sure. Yeah, you show them like, mm, like the camera. You know the poker camera. You be like, mm, this is what I got. So but. one of my sisterhood sisters said, "You get fed when you're helping other people." Yeah. I was like, that's true. I do feel better about myself. Mm-hmm. That must be a lack of self confidence. Is it though? Because you're very confident. But, but that's when I make you think I am. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. Admitting to it, that's the first door. That's the first door, guys. We have broken Tanya's first door. Oh, <laughs> calmate, calmate. Just relax. We broke that's her door, people. Ever. I don't no. care. Comment I if will, you want. Don't try to come at me. <laughs> we broke her door, people. Uh. I'm taking us to yeah, bro- no, I, I think that's did. one door. I yeah. think that's one door. Shout out to Joanne. She did yeah, that. Yeah, she did that Joanne for you. Joanne was like, so I thought we you don't love. Say names. No, I am because. You, you want to shout her out? Last night okay, cool. And I cool. have to tell her. She's like, you love helping people. You do. But you don't like talking about yourself. Nope. I was like, she right. She right. Because She's right. basically I'm deflecting. Right. I don't want you to look at me. I don't want you to focus on me. That's but what can you, I do for you? But you also give them your life experiences mm-hmm. to kind of help them be who they can be, which is better. You know what I mean? Or and their life experiences yeah. can help me in who I am. Correct. It's so weird. It's just so weird. Like, go and, and, and talking about that, you know, life experiences and stuff like that, if you were to break up with before my dear brother-in-law. Like, I'm I not broke up at all. Right. I'm not dating. That, that's, that's my boo. That, and that's, I won't be gay. That's my homie scroll me. Because a lot of people turn yeah. gay after they're married. Yeah, that's true. No I'm about to. to those that did. I'm about I, to. I'm not doing that. <laughs> not doing it. You hear me? I'm like, I'm about to. It's just anyway, not my thing. No. I think I might. Oh, I think this might. So we'll talk about it another time. Anyway, so when you broke up with someone mm-hmm. before O, mm-hmm. that's, why I bring, that's why I brought you up, O. But before you, she had a life. And did you delete all pictures, social media? Like, I, I, I know it was many, many moons ago before social media. I think you were AOL when you met O. Was, but you mean you delete, were like, like the hard copies at Eckers and see, like, like the Eckers did you, you like delete copy? pictures, throw out pictures? Like, do you, once you move on from that person, do you delete all those memories? So. <clears throat> I have deleted quite a few. Okay. As far as thrown out pictures. Oh. We didn't grow up in um, social date. media. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't have social media back no, then. We didn't have that. We had folders of pics. Uh, okay. So I had lots of pictures. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get the two. I may throw out one and still keep the one. <laughs> keep the copy. You keep it in the little, uh, like, that black no, and white. There were times where I. There were. The negative. I think I was very selective. I I deleted the ones that I just didn't want to see. 
Mm. It wasn't like he made me delete memories. Mm. It was like I want to delete those memories. In my mind, they were hurtful mm -hmm. and they were painful. And I deleted those memories by throwing them out. Like for me, I threw out a lot of pictures. Mm. But did you? Your face is telling me you did it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. But I would keep like one so I could just remember the person, like how they looked with like a name with the person, right? But as I'm like going through my journey of what I'm going through, it's very hard. I can't do that to the person that, you know, I had kids with, right? Like I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. But prior to like, I had like a few, like one picture or two picture, you know what I mean? Like of like people that had a mark in my life, like my prom king guy or the guy that I was dating during prom and you know, my college life, right? I would have, like, one or two pictures so that I could have, like, my timeline of people. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm about to delete it. I'm about to just throw it out, shred it. I don't need them. And I think that now that we're in society of technology, of, like, the social media, right, we have pictures that we've posted, like, when we were it back in the day. It's good to see pictures. It's nice. I it's a noise. I was super skinny. I was like, I tell you, I was, I was, I wish. That's like my, I should make that my vision board. What? My skinny pictures. <laughs> but. <laughs> my skinny pictures. I'm like, oh, Put that on the vision board. I wish to be I don't skinny need again. that though. I'm in a different stage. Right. So. For me, I'm not. So I'm starting that new stage. You are in a different stage. I am in a different stage. You're a Christian, yes, right. Mm -hmm, and you're definitely. walking through a <sighs> a situation, a, a very trying situation <laughs> with your relationship, right? My um, baby. <laughs> I I not I <laughs> ugly. But for me, it's like I don't really need that. Yeah, I don't, I don't need it anymore. I I'm not holding on to that. I'm not trying to I'm, dibble dabble and travel back into. No, that. I'm not doing that. And I, I never I did it before. Well. I hope you're well. I never did it before, so I don't even know why I kept certain pictures. I feel like from my you sake. You holding on to that moment. That, that, that memory. memory. Yeah, I was yeah. really holding on to that memory. Make new ones, better ones. It's fine. Absolutely. Maybe. I can't wait to just be traveling. <laughs> you know, if you dated Tyler, just JK. I'm just joking. We can go to Paris. We can go to Paris. We can go to, yeah, no. Paris. So I think on my next journey in my life, I think I want to go to like alphabet type countries. Like I think the first one will be Abu Dhabi. Amsterdam. Oh, oh Amsterdam. Oh, Abu Dhabi. What? Where is that? That's in Dubai. Hmm. Which? Isn't that a D? In no, Dubai? it's Abu Dhabi. I know, but it starts with an A. If you go to Dubai, you can hit all the cities in Dubai, <laughs> no matter what the. No, about it? I'm going to go. I, I really do want to go to Amsterdam because I heard that's like fire. So I would do like Amsterdam. Then like the second one will probably be like Belgium. Maybe. Or there's a lot of things in B. I know. You know what I mean? I like know. Bermuda. I heard Bermuda is beautiful. It's whack. It's whack. You've been I mean, it's not whack. Let me. Please. Have you been there? Don't hate me. Yes, we went to Bermuda. On a cruise? Yeah. You went through, you went around the Bermuda Triangle? We had to. If we would have disappeared. <laughs> yeah. So like C would be like, I think the Cancun. So uh, Cairo, like Morocco, Cairo, like, Egypt. Oh, that's awesome. So I think like the next person. Let's go down to the D. <gasps> Wait, where did I go? Where did I see you? Denmark. Denmark. <laughs> I don't want to go to Denmark. Den Den Denmark. No. Where you no, like open up a, like a whole menu of weed that's free. That's true. That's true. I'm not a weed smoker. I'm not either. But, but Denmark I is, mean, I want to try it. They have a very low crime rate. They do. <laughs> Everybody's happy. <laughs> I and didn't know that. You, you get a weed. You, and you get a weed. <laughs> no, but Denmark has a very low crime rate. Really? I didn't know that. And unemployment rate. <gasps> I need to go there. Go on weed. So A, B, C, D. Okay. Was E, Egypt. I said Egypt. F what? would be where? Frankfurt, France. Frankfurt France. or France. France. France or Frankfurt. Mm -hmm. No, I like France. G. What would G be? Hmm. So, what? Huh? What? 
What the hell? He I go to Atlanta, Atlanta all the can't. time. I just came That's back from Atlanta. I, Damn, Georgia, Atlanta. Shoot. I mean, don't get me wrong. I got my friends out there. It was really cool. Like, it was always fun. Mm-hmm. No, anyway, so that would be G. <laughs> so, you said that. Yeah. You have a question for me? Mm-hmm. Sure, go ahead. Shoot. Are... Is everyone your friend? Ah, that's a good question. I think that I have Mm -hmm. um, circles of friends. Think about it. Uh, No, no, no. What's your true definition of friendship? Not knowing people. Because I can know a lot of people. I do know a lot of people. No, you you know a lot of people. I know like a quarter of half the people you know. But they're not all my friends. But you know a lot of celebrities. <gasps> only a few. Only a few. Oh, I was about to say, because Nasty would be like, what? He would curse me out. He would have. Actually, I want to give a shout out to Nasty. He is. He's great. I do want to give a shout out to DJ Nasty because he told Tanya to tell me that she was sorry about the Florida Turnpike. But I drove on the Turnpike. I'm like, what part of Turnpike was he in? Because it. Did you? Were three. you going towards Miami? Remember where I was going? My okay, point. going towards Miami, there's two lanes. But anyway, it doesn't matter. DJ Nasty, shout out. Thank you, bro. I really, really appreciate you. Whatever. Uh-huh. He told her that she should apologize online to me that I was right. Because he drives uh, this much. That means he that flies means- everywhere with Khaled's plane. He don't know what the term bike is. From up there, it's two lanes, okay? It looks like two lanes. <laughs> Why are you in Callis? I don't care. I don't care. Thank you, DJ Nasty. I appreciate you. But think about it. Do you do you call everyone your friend? Like, I don't call everybody my friend anymore. Mm. I don't. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't call everybody my friend. I have circles of friends. Um, I have my travel friends. Mm. Right, that I love to go travel with. Mm. Right, um, but are they friends? Yeah, I do. I are they just companions? Like, oh, they're my travel companion. No, they're my friends. I really uh, get to know them, and I really I help guide them. I don't so know. I I really try to so guide. So I them. have an issue with vulnerability. You don't have any. <laughs> you let them all in. Hey, girl, you want to be my friend? Yeah, this my best friend. No, I don't no. do that. I don't do the best friend thing. So stop it. I learned my lesson. I don't have best friends. did you? I did. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> I did. That's why I don't even like them trying to reach out to you. Okay? All right. So, um, yes, I have my different friends. I have my different circles of friends, mm. but they're small. They're, everyone is small, right? You need to stop. You see? That's why that was my mic. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I have my different circles of friends. And I, because I think that we all go through different moments in life that we all relate to, right? So I have my friends that I go, you know, travel with and stuff like that, that we're all just in a different situation, right? Mm. Um, some are married, some have been married, some have separated, some are trying to just figure things out with them and they just want to get away with no feelings or thinking about anything i go into that i fall in that i don't want to think i just want to have a good time you know um i love how your face if anybody can see tanya's face right now on youtube um and maybe on spotify i don't even know what you can see her on but if you can see her face right now (laughs) she's giving me the eye okay um but not everybody's in my situation or have experienced my situation. So it's like I have different circles. Like sometimes I, I want to be in a circle that I don't want to talk about anything. I don't want to talk about my situation. I don't want to talk about what I'm going through. I don't want, I just want to like have okay. a good time. Mm-hmm. Right. And my good time, trust me, is I love the sun. I love the sun. Oh, the sun. right now. I love the sun. I could be in the sun I all day, it. every day, and give me my sound machine. I hate it. In my in my Bluetooth headphones, what? what? I put my AirPods. Like, what is that? <laughs> it's my sound machine. What the is that? Oh, it's a whale. Get. 
That was scary. But it's fine. I was talking but to you, my friend and he was you like, it's fine. You you listen to whales? I was yeah. like, I do not listen to whales. My sister said that. Like, what is that? I don't do whales. I do thunderstorm. No. What I heard was not a thunderstorm. It, <laughs> it was, was like the it thunderstorm. Wasn't a, it was unless a, your husband snoring. Oh, <laughs> it was yeah. he was snoring. He has his own thunderstorm. See? So yeah. I had my does, thunderstorm. Does have his own and O had his own thing. So he you did. were having a mixture. It was like a remix. No, I'm between your whale and his thunderstorm. <laughs> no sleep. Okay? Okay? This is disrespectful. You were team no sleep. I was like, oh my God. If I have to punch. But listen, one but of listen, when I went to the what beach, I punch. when I went to the beach, I was chilling. I love the sun. You mean when you were like crying when our kids went into it? Oh, yeah. I meant to talk about that on our next podcast. It was bad. It was bad. But you and O left me. Because O and I were like chilling at the bar. No. So let me explain something to y'all. Don't ever go on vacation with these two. Like, for fun, though. No. Oh, yeah. Y'all left me. I was trying to be the responsible, though. Oh, you wanted to be the. Cool, Titi. The cool mom. Cool mom, Titi. Let me be with them. Yeah. I'm like, are you sure? Yeah, I'm okay. going to be with them. Sure. So what it was the wanted. night before we were supposed to leave. We were in St. Pete, Florida. Shout out. It was right when COVID, right? It was during COVID. Right before COVID, right? No, it was during COVID. During COVID? It was 2020. Yeah. So we went in July. And the only hotel that would probably take us is where we went. Let's go. We got there. We were mad. We were so mad. <laughs> There was why restaurants did closed. Why did O pick this hotel? Shout out to Tradewind. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm gonna give them a then shout they, out. Then it was so bad, and he looked at me. I'm like, get at him. I have no <laughs> idea why we're here. So we were there, right? And um, <laughs> they have a cool slide. I ain't gonna lie. They have a cool slide. I did the slide with the kids. You whatever. Did. And did you, did you do the slide? You did. No. No, see, I am the cool mom, Titi, right? That's okay. Fine. And that's why so, you almost died. <laughs> so, so the night before we were about to leave, right? No, first of all, like two days before, the kids did the, what was that called? The uh, parachute thing? What was that called? Huh? Parasailing. Where they're like 60 feet high in the air that it could snap. And they're in the water. God knew where to place me. <laughs> they did. We were on the sideline waiting for them to come oh, back. We did. That was that sideline one. You guys went in the car. I stood outside and took I, sun. I got out of the car. For a little bit. For like five minutes. It was hot. It was hot. You love the sun. <laughs> love the sun. I need AC. <laughs> so I'm chilling, getting sun, whatever. The kids are parasailing. I'm just praying to God, like, don't snap, please, God. Like, let's just be with them, right? Great. They had a great time. They come back. They're like, oh, my God, that was so much fun. We were scared, but it was all good. They had a great time. The next day. And a heart. Yeah. <sighs> our heart was just pounding. Really? Was your heart pounding? Because you were in the car. I couldn't tell. Just because I was in AC doesn't mean my heart wasn't pounding. Yeah, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. I was outside okay. trying to pray to God. Anyway, so we go the next day. We're like, what do you guys want to do? They're like, we want to do the banana boat. And I said, we'll you know what, guys? All right, let's do the banana boat. And they're like, yeah, woo woo, we're going to do the banana boat. We go there, we make our time slot. It's eight of them. They're like, Titi, you can't come on because it's only like eight on a, on a boat. And I'm like, no problem. You know, I, I'll just watch you guys. I'll take you guys, whatever, whatever. So it's our time. So we go. Tanya and O are like, we're going to stay here. I'm like, sure, guys, stay here. I got the kids. Don't you worry. I'm the greatest parent ever. So we go. The kids are like, Didi, hold my mom. Hold my slippers. Hold my this. Hold my that. Da, 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 da. I'm like, sure. Just put it right here. You're I'm trying to be the cool parent. I'm trying you to be the cool. Much. I'm trying you to be cool. Much. I'm trying to be cool. Did too much. These guys get life jackets. Thank God for the life jackets. And as they go, and I see them all on the boat. So it's like four on one boat. Um, It's like a two, like a... A dual boat, okay? So it's four on four, okay? And there's like three guys. So four and four. There's three guys. Mm -hmm. No, four guys. It is Angel, mm -hmm. Chris, Dylan, and Nico. Nico. Four. The rest is in the two girls. Jazzy. Jazzy and Victoria. Victoria. It was six and of them. Two other. That's it. No, they ended up just being them. 
And I didn't want to pay. I was like, it's okay. No, you guys go. I don't want to be like the old lady on the boat, right? I wish I was on the boat. Man. I agree. I wish I was on there. So they these guys go on the thing. And I hit this. They're hitting those waves. Bam. Bam. And I see them, and they're holding on. They're like, ah. They're having a great old time. I'm like, okay. I see them. They're like about 60 feet deep in the ocean. Okay. Now we're in Florida. We have sharks. I don't know if you know, but we have sharks. Okay. They're out there. They ain't got for life jackets, but they're out there. Do not breathe. No. And they're like, shh, shh, shh. All of a sudden, I only see two heads on the boats the other ones are in the ocean my heart first of all how do i explain to tanya and O that i have lost i think there's two heads of my kids <laughs> my her kids they're in the ocean they're gone how do i explain to them that i might lose these children okay you no 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 so they get on. I see them get back on the, the boat, comes back. They get them. They get saved. I'm like, ah, ah. people are walking past me. I'm crying. At this point, I'm hysterical crying. I'm like, just come back. Like just crazy. come back she to was shore. Why was she crying? No, they she come back they to shore. They come back to shore. Everything, I already had my heart attack. I'm like, okay, life is good. I count all of them. I'm like, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good, good. We're good. They're coming back to me. <laughs> my, my, my two nieces, let's go one more time. All of a sudden, the banana boats. We need it when that happens. No, no, no. You have to punch them in the neck. I couldn't. I like was, they were too today. far. Punch them in the neck. Ugh. They were in and the ocean. They, <laughs> they were like talk. at the shore. So I'm like, what happened? Like, they're gone. I'm like, what? Wait, no, 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 no. They'll come back. They're gone. They're gone. All of a sudden, they're goof, 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 gone. All of them. That's they were gone. They were in the ocean, like bobbleheads. We're not going to go they were, the ocean with them anymore. <laughs> no, I don't want to. We're going to go with that. They were bobbleheads in the ocean. This is why I need you to mm. get with Tyler's. I <laughs> so we can go to Paris, and we don't have to worry. If we if listen, we just go with just us. Listen. We don't have to worry so about bad. So It was so bad. Crazy. That I started crying, like hyperventilating. People are on the beach, like, are you okay? I'm like, no, I don't know where they're at. I think that's my kid. I think that's my nephew over there. I only see like little bodies in the ocean. It was the hard life now. No, you really, here. really, because they're, when they're, they came back to the beach, you have to understand something. They're with us. They're like, Didi, that was so great. Mom, that was so awesome. Oh, my God, I almost died. And I'm like, <laughs> like, hysterical crying. Oh, Roseanne from Dixie Cream text me. Or whatever. Anyway, so we go, we go back to the hotel with these kids. I'm still crying. I'm like, because God told me you were stupid. You should not have let them get on the stupid <sighs> banana boat. And, so and when I get God there, no, no, don't, don't distract. I get there, and you and O are talking and having drinks in your hand, talking to everybody. We're supposed to go to, like, have, like, ski resorts with these people that you saw in the pool, and you're, like, having a great old time when good. my life flashed before you me. made some good connections. If I would have told you I lost a kid in the ocean, how would you have felt? I would have shut down the whole beach. Yeah, me too. I would have. APB. Right, but I had to still go to you to tell I you to shut it down. News. Look, it was ridiculous. And I would have been mad at you. The like, kids were like, Didi, Mom, why are you crying? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I saw you guys die and <laughs> come back to life. <laughs> Blame the girls. Yeah. It's yeah. almost the girls. It, it was, was the girls. It was the girls. You know why? Because they were the only ones that stood on the banana boat. Okay? And so, yeah. But I was still mad at you and O for celebrating life with the new people while I'm like, I died and came back to life. I see boundaries. Okay. We said, we're not doing that. Oh. No, next time there's a we're banana boat. And the you next said, time? I'll go with them. Trying to be all cool. Uh, I'm okay. not going to do that. No, and we're like, we don't want to do that. We're going to do this. You're like, I'll do that with them. Okay. That's what you want to do. I couldn't even take sun. Like the sun couldn't even shine bright enough for me so I could be calm. So while we were at brunch today. Sure. There was another topic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You, I think it was on your phone. Mm-hmm. What was it? Shout out to Roseanne that I met her. She uh, lived in Europe all her life, and now she lives in We're the talking about area. Is it the knowing of the she audience like or people watching? Which one you want to talk about? You got to know your audience. I feel like that's strong. That's strong. You yeah, so? I knew my audience when I came back from the beach and you got you and oh freaking talking to all these people talking about we're gonna go skiing next no, but year. What were we talking about though? With them? Oh, fifty five minutes. I don't care about oh. Listen to me. You left me. No, <laughs> and you gotta know your audience. No, what were we talking about today at brunch? They took our seats, those old ladies. I those old ladies took our seats because you well, we talked about told them, the go ahead, you want to sit here? We'll yeah, sit we'll one. Here. That's another thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tanya. I am older. making fun of you. Be tall. I do. I'm more standing. You know, like, I'm from New York. You get in the train station. And they're rude. A, a viejito standing up. Oh, they're you rude. You give them your seat. No. You, no, you don't. <laughs> you did it, but we did. <laughs> I gave my she seat up. She was standing up, up today. I you were like, you want to sit here? And I was like. That's how I sounded. That's how I sounded. <laughs> that's how I sounded. Uh. You were like, you want to sit here? No, don't like, worry. It was only one chair on the other side. And I was like, who's going to sit Let us know if you'd like to sit. Uh, so then. then Jesus two- says, loves all people at all places at all times. You really suck. You're not <laughs> listening to that. And then the, uh, there was another, like, two older ladies that came. So I was like, you they know what? so fun. No, not the second group. You said no, not the second group. Okay. Oh, me? Yeah, it was the second group that was nicer. Was like, but anyway, so the first group, Tanya made me give up my seat. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm gonna give up my seat. Come sit here. Not that elderly. It was. I'm not discriminating. I'm just saying what I did. So I gave up my seat, them. and then we were still waiting for our seats. And then you want to talk to them, and they were like, "Is that a double mimosa?" And I was. You were like, yes, it is. You better get you some. You can go right there and get some. And I was like this. Mm-hmm. She was like, yeah, where she's from New York. And I was like, I didn't even want to talk to these people. No, her accent, it was like, I was like, where are you from? She's like, she's like, oh, White, White Plains. Plains. I was like, uh, it is technically New York. <laughs> you we made friends. And she's from she Paris. She got your number. Bye. She's she didn't from get mine. She just texted me. She's going to tell me where to go. No. So then Tanya goes, she's, she's like, yeah, but I was hater. in, she's a hater. <laughs> she was like, yeah, I lived in Europe for tw- uh, 15 years. And we're like, oh, Tanya goes, I'm going to Europe next month. Where should I go? You should give me your number. I'm looking at Tanya like, wow. <laughs> wow. That's we don't, not how that went. Listen. It's crazy we don't like how your people. mind is so off. That's nuts. She said. Oh, yeah, you know, so I'm from here, but it's so weird for me because I'm from, I lived in Europe for so long, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, wow. When she said I lived in Paris, that's when I said, oh, wow, I'm going to Paris next month. See how that, you're so off. You didn't even connect. Connected yeah, the way you should. You know why? Because I'm not going to goddamn Paris. <laughs> so I felt some type That's because you're not dating any Tylers, okay? Date some So the reason Tanya's saying this is because she said that. She I needs did- to level up with dating. <laughs> when she is divorced, she has so to she be said, divorced. She said, I, told I you should that. level up. That's what she's saying. She, that's what After I'm- being divorced, people. <laughs> Officially. Be divorced, do some self growth, development, and so I can go with you to Paris because they don't want me turn to be a third wheel. Up. That's what it is. They don't want me to be a third wheel, even though I said I. We never I said bring- that. You're a fun <gasps> third wheel. You're, you're a fun third wheel. I am. I I try. I try. I give you a space. I talk you to just people. Have to- I talk to my own people. Who are your own people? <laughs> Cubans. I talk to my own people. Cubans? Are there a lot of Cubans? No. I talk to my peoples. I talk to people. I don't know what that is. No, you talk to a lot of people. That's why you always know somebody. And then you know their names. You you remember the lady's name? Which one? The one you met today? Roseanne. Wow. 
That's the thing. I'm learning better. I'm getting better with names today. Like oh. with my new job because I have so many people because I got a network. So like I'm I'm starting to remember names, but I'm I'm really bad with names. For me, it's it's a game. Uh, no, what? It's intentional. Ooh. If you know, if like you legit want to know who I am, so wow. You don't be mad. You ask me. I'm <laughs> no, I'm being for real. I'm being for real. Like I've done this my whole life. First of all, in elementary school, I remember my first and last name friend. Used to be like, oh, see. Sierra Marajo, Keisha McKenzie, Katie Vasquez. Because like, a lot of people at that time, they used to name their kids to match their last name. Now, no. they don't do that. That's what you remembered when they were taking the tendons and taking the little folder out of From the From one side to the other <laughs> side to me in. That's why. So I remembered everything. And I, I do feel that your name is super important. If you don't remember my name, that's not talk. I mean, your first name, but your last name? You got to remember my last name to feel important? We always talk about first names. I'll remember last names, but I don't want to show you out. I'll remember last names. First name, I know you do. But first names and faces, I could, yo, I'm good with faces. I'm like, I remember that person. And you would probably be like, you where? And I would be like, da-da-da. You'd be like, oh, snap. Oh, I do remember that's that. That's Pepe. <laughs> oh, I didn't know his name. We have to do better with names. I'm doing better. Damn it. Doing better. I'm doing better. But I have a game. I said that's like a My game. My boss said the same thing. She was like, I told her, I was like, because we were at an event. It was a lot of people. And she was like, Kim, this is such a such. I was like, listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. If I don't see them every day, the name might not stick. She was like, Kim, Kim do this thing. And, da, 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 da. and she was trying to tell me a name. And I was like, okay. If you repeat the name. If they say I'm trying, I was doing that this weekend. I don't think you're trying. I know I did. Here's I know all the people that was with okay. me this weekend, and it was a lot. Hey, um, Michael, me Kim, Kim, me Michael. You, you ever In been my to a mind? party? Boom. So I'm like, wait, Michael, Kim, and then I'll go. Hi, Kim. My name is Tanya. And so, while we're conversing, hmm. I'll say your name over and over and over again, for repetition. So. Kim, mm, that sounds da, da. great. What? Uh, you know what? I want to throw my phone at you. <laughs> oh my God. I, I hate like, you. That's I great. That's great. Me? No. Mm-mm. Oh, just looks at me. He goes, what's your name? He, that's what I'm saying. That's why I got, that's why I get along with him. No. It's that's not. Why I get it's along not with him. No. No. It's not the right way. I, it's not that I, listen, I can name remember your face. Name is, that's your name. You got to respect, put, put some respect on my name. <laughs> like that's. <laughs> There's a reason why I put some respect on my name. Because you got to remember something. Yeah, but so one time. I hear you. <laughs> You're not listening. She's not listening. Guys. I am listening. She's not. So one time I had I hosted a party. We got one minute. While we were friends? I think so. <gasps> this is were we in not the recent. same apartment building with your people? <laughs> no, this is when I lived in the townhouse. And I had a party. And I do a brain fart. Mm-hmm. I had a brain fart. Now, mind you, these are people that I, I'm with all the time, but I was so busy in trying to make sure that this party was a success that I... Were we there? Were you there? Yeah, you were there. I, I know you were there, but it wasn't you that I introduced you to the person. I think I introduced other people or whatever. But I was like, you guys are grown. Introduce yourselves. And I kept it going. <sighs> That's not so funny. It was. Because they introduced themselves. And you know what I did? I went to my trusted friend and I said, what was his name for like a hot second? She was like, are you so stupid, girl? Such and such. And I was like, I knew it. I knew it. I just had a moment. Because people know that I can remember faces, names. I can get stuck on stupid. Mm. Mm-hmm. It happens. If you don't know my name, we can't be friends. <laughs> Well, our name, our oh, initials. What? Okay, okay. What? What? What time is it? <gasps> what? We got a lot to talk about. Okay, okay. One last thing, and then we can go. I promise. I swear to God. I have one question. Good night. Don't, don't swear to God. We do have to do a little oh. bit more sound bites. Okay. Oh, last week we didn't do our session last week because t- he had a tattoo fever flu. And I want to discuss it I really quick. I didn't know that was a thing. 
I didn't know that tattoo flu was a thing. I had no idea. Now, what is the thing? So that people out there so understand. So, tattoo flu is when the pain is so excruciating, the white blood cells, right, race to the trauma parts of your skin, mm-hmm. causing your immune system to go down, mm-hmm. hence the fever, etc. Mm. And I only researched this. I thought it was fake. <laughs> You thought he came from a fake laugh, I like a sickness? Did. He was like, wow. I was like, you cold? I, I wasn't very sensitive. How long was your tattoo? Nine hours. Yeah. Seven to eight hours. I thought it was hours. nine because you were gone for nine. Oh, you had to wait. Damn, T. And so he came, wait in, in the lobby. he came in <laughs> shivering, looked crazy. I was like, what is wrong with this guy? So I looked it up. Let me make sure this nipple is not making that. And sure enough, it's it, called the tattoo, tattoo flu. flu is a thing. Wow. So anybody that goes to get a tattoo for a really long time, just be careful. That's what, that's why I wanted to bring it up towards the end of our, of our segment is because, you know, if you're doing a tattoo for a really long time, you can get sick. It's not COVID. I'm going to look it up. Right? I'm but definitely look it up because you might be with the tattoo flu, and that is no joke. So this is why we couldn't do our segment last week because he had the flu, and we didn't want to get sick. But it's not contagious, it's right? Not, no, it, it really isn't. That's a good thing. Thank God. Uh, and he's fine. He's able to do this <laughs> podcast today. I mean, he is. He. It was. I think he had it for what twenty four hours. How did you feel? He's like, that's because you got like this big ass piece going down his arm. That's why, like, I don't do big pieces. I got one tattoo. I I got seventeen, but I get words. Wait, you have? I have seventeen tattoos. Yeah, I have seventeen, and I've deleted like. You can't just delete tattoos. I'm sorry, (laughs) ma'am. Two. In your mind, you deleted them. No, dude, I got LASIK, like laser removal. You can't even tell that I even had the tattoo there. How about that? That's how good they are. But we can talk about that next segment. That's going to be, a, yeah. I, I agree. Yeah. Because yeah. I know someone got, you know, they got her man's. Name? Name. Yeah, so did I. It's gone. Under her boob. <laughs> we going to talk about that next time. <laughs> we going to talk about that next time. Would you, and you know what, guys? Please follow us on on Facebook, uh, Spotify, Apple, uh, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, 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 everything. We are on everything. Please. Would you put a get comment. your man's tattoo? Would you get your names? Your, your and not be married. Or girls and not name, be married. And not married. Get their name tattooed. That is your our girls, next segment. Your girls tat or your female tat? I like it. No, that was that was. Uh, your female tat or your male tat? <laughs> Nothing apparently because I drink it all. Uh, um, but yeah. that's gonna be what we're gonna talk about next week. Um, is would you get a tattoo of the person you're dating? Because it's really dating. You're not official yet. No. I'm okay. We're, you know what? We're gonna we're not gonna get into it right now. We're gonna talk about it next week. Um, but please put your comments in so we can discuss it. Um, if you have anything else that you want us to talk about, please reach out. Um, we have a Gmail account, Off Topic Podcast Gmail account. Um. You know, again, reach out to us, subscribe, like, and follow us on social media. Or just tell us all the things that on all the platforms. Yeah, that's, just that's talk it. to us. Talk to all us. All the things on all the platforms. Love her to death. She, I'm going to give her some food. Give her some water. She I got to get some bread. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Um, Go ahead. I'm Tanya. I'm Kim. Off topic. Off topic. Signing off. All right, babies. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>